with Microsoft recently shooting themselves square in the foot with Windows 11 and then continually shooting themselves with all this AI BS, many users, including myself, have been looking at other operating systems. One of those many alternatives is Linux. Now, Linux is a Unix-like OS kernel that can come packaged in many different distributions. Many popular ones include Ubuntu, Mint, and Arch. My particular weapon of choice, though, is Fedora, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up SteamVR on Fedora Linux. The particular version I'll be using is the recently released Fedora 40 with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. I'll also only cover SteamVR-based headsets with an NVIDIA GPU. You can use Quest headsets through software like ALVR, but I have zero experience with it. Before we get into this guide properly, this video assumes two things. Number one, that your NVIDIA driver is installed and properly signed and the RPM-free and non-free repos are added. Fedora is focused on using a lot of bleeding-edge technologies, and one of those is the Wayland Display Server. As of now, NVIDIA GPUs don't really work with Wayland all that well. Graphical issues and stability issues plague the system. <sighs> you, NVIDIA. So our first step in the process is to install the X11 version of KDE Plasma, which uses the X Windows Server. You can do this by typing sudo dnf install plasma-workspace-x11 in your terminal. This is a sudo command and requires super user privileges. Make sure you're the system administrator or have gotten permission to install this. Once that is done, you'll need to restart your system. At the login screen in the bottom left corner, select KDE Plasma X11 before signing in. Once X11 KDE is installed, we can now get to installing and setting up SteamVR. But before we install SteamVR, let's enable the Proton compatibility layer so we can play different VR games that don't normally work on Linux. You can do this by going to Steam, Settings, and Enabling Compatibility. SteamVR has a native Linux build, and thus doesn't need to run under Proton, but our games will. Once SteamVR is installed, its setup process is nearly identical to Windows. Pair your controllers, run through room setup, and you're all too good to go. Let's get to playing some games. Most, if not all, VR games don't natively support Linux, and we'll need to use Proton to get them to work properly. A good resource is the ProtonDB website. This website is a community forum on all things Proton. Type in a game you wish to play, and it will show you the best version of Proton to use and potential tweaks that you may have to make. To tweak and use a specific version of Proton, you'll need to right-click on our game, go to Properties, and here we can select a specific version and type in launch arguments. There's no guarantee that any of this will work because Linux and Proton and all of that fun stuff, but it requires patience and a little tinkering. So if you don't get it on your first try, keep trying. So that's how you set up SteamVR on Fedora Linux. It's a little complicated, but once you have it all figured out, it works really well. That's all for now. Bye!